Hello, my love. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. For those of you guys that are old friends and family to me and to the Bahati Vibe Tribe, it is so good. It's such an honor to still be able to pull charts for you. I am beyond excited for this new moon that's happening in the sign of Aries for a multitude of reasons. I think that the one that stands out to me the most, the largest reason and the most impactful reason I feel that would be most beneficial to you, to me, to the collective, is the fact that this new moon is so wired for faded action. This is one of those things that I think is so such a good vibe like it's something that i think that we've all been waiting because i don't know about you but the collective energy lately has felt like we're all holding our breath drawing our breath in there seems to be some type of tension that's going on in the planets which we've talked about during astro chat live and it makes us kind of look over our shoulders and wait for something to kind of catch us off guard we don't want to say the wrong thing we don't want to do the right thing and everything within the planets is telling us to pause halt don't go there don't listen to your intuition things aren't clear and with a new moon like this i think that it's an opportunity for us to kind of exhale exhale a little bit and be able to kind of act on the feeling that has been lingering and building up in every single one of us i truly feel like there's this huge sense of something is impending something is happening and that's one of the reasons why we're drawing in our breath because for many of us we might be expecting the worst and with this new moon i don't want to necessarily promise that everything is going to be absolutely excellent and feel really good and feel very positive because i'm not looking at your personal chart i'm looking at the general reading and i'm sharing that message with the collective also, side note, if you don't already know, I don't believe that anything is all good or all bad. I think that it just is what it is and we have to rely on the divine and rely on our higher selves and rely on our intuition in order to navigate through the circumstances and make them work for us. If you know how to work with the planets, you can make them work for you and not against you. But having beyond that, I feel that these, this new moon in particular is going to be something that you can act upon with confidence and not only are the charts infusing that energy of confidence within you and infusing that bold courageous action that is needed to launch this venture and to put yourself out there and to start this new beginning and start this new chapter because it's all here I mean it's it's literally it's it's stunning it's stunning so let's go ahead and kind of rewind a little bit because I'm diving into this video um, again we're talking about the new moon that's happening in the sign of Aries this is gonna be March 21st 2023 I have the charts pulled up for 3 33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but that's because I pull my charts individually and then I de decode and decipher the chart and pull that message over to you guys let's dive in <laughs> All right, my love. So as I was saying, the new moon is happening in the sign of Aries. This is so powerful. This is so impactful because this is how we are going to start our new astrological season. Whenever the sun enters into the sign of Aries, this is the start of the new zodiac season. This is like a new year and the signal to the universe that we are entering into the next chapter in our life. New moons right next to that represent new beginnings and represent the opportunity for us to plant our seeds things that is that we want for ourselves to grow to manifest the things that is that we set intention for you don't have to be a magical being in order to do this you can wish a prayer or you can take a step back and watch how these planets are going to move you and maneuver you in new very interesting ways as these planets continue to show you this is the perfect time for this to happen within your life this is the next chapter this is the next venture that we want to take you now everybody's going to be different so if i were you i would pull up your personal natal chart and i would see what aries rules within your chart what house aries rules within your chart because that's 
the area where this door is going to open up and you are going to be encouraged to boldly walk through this door. Um, as I'm looking at the chart, I do want to talk to you guys about the fact that Mars, which rules our drive, our ambition, how we move, how we wish to um, succeed in certain areas in our lives or every single area in our life, is transiting through the sign of Gemini. This is something that I've been talking about a lot during our Astro Chat Lives sessions. And for those of you guys that don't know, Astro Chat Live is the time that I go live every Monday, mostly every Monday, and I break down all of the astrological transits at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard again on Monday. So feel free to join me for those days if you'd like. But during those Astro Chat Live sessions, I've been talking a lot about the agitation that Mars transiting through Gemini can bring this agitation and irritation that we can feel deep within our spirit no matter how patient and kind and considerate and soft like a dove that we are it's just this energy that kind of itches on our shoulder regardless of how evolved, how evolved we are so that's something that we have to deal with that agitation irritation is the universe's way of saying now is the time now is the time it's important for us to listen to ourselves and see where this irritation is coming from and instead of being triggered by it let's be curious and let's explore it so as Mars is transiting through the sign of Gemini and already awakening your need to be curious and to ask questions about this specific area within your life and this new chapter, this new venture, Mars is going to be trying, which is this perfect um, angle to this perfect easy ease and effortless angle to Saturn who is now newly also new energy transiting through the sign of Pisces now this is where we need to begin to really engage our intuitive feelings engage and to lock into this wish this hope this goal this dream that it is that we finally want for ourselves as I'm saying that I know that most of us I want to say 89 to 92% of those who are watching right now are at a point in their journey on their spiritual path or in life where they're just like, I'm kind of worn out from putting my faith in something, from trying and then watching it fall apart and watching it fail. And I want to say that I see you because, and I identify with you, like I, I get it because these planets, specifically Pluto transiting, through the sign of Capricorn, Saturn, who was once transiting through the sign of Aquarius, now entering in the sign of Pisces, and Uranus falling in the sign of Taurus, which creates all type of instability and makes the foundation of our lives very insecure, like it makes it very unstable. The very things that should be making us feel safe and provided for in order to take that leap, in order to make that step towards this great venture or to believe that this thing is possible and that our mind, body, soul, spirit is ready has been crumbling underneath us. So at this point in the, in the game, at this point in the journey, it is very possible for you to kind of look at me and look at the charts and being like, no, I've already tried to put myself out there. I've already tried to make it work and I watched it collapse underneath me. The truth is, is that with astrology, it is what I believe the divine or the creator or the universe's way of giving us a map of what we can expect and what tools and resources we can use that would be helpful for us while we're walking our path here on life or in life and with these major planets that have been breaking down the foundation underneath our feet everything underneath us is crumbling so of course during that time we would have to be very flexible and very open-minded to this collapse of certain things specific things or this very specific thing that's going on in your life now that these planets are exiting out of these signs or in new territory and not putting so much heavy pressure on breaking down, now is the time to build up. And now is the new season. Again, the sun is now transiting through the sign of Aries, brand new energy. It does take courage to put yourself out there, but guess what Aries rules? And guess what the new moon will bring you? Courage. Yup, I can't make this up. 
Aries is the sign that is the leader of the entire zodiac. And regardless of your sun, regardless of your rising, at least for this moment, Aries is going to give you that energy. It's going to infuse that energy within you so that you can tap into that and say, I know what the past looked like. I know what the path looked like, but now is a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's a new chapter. And it's absolutely divinely time time for me to step forward into this to have faith to have hope and to try again you know what they say if at first you don't succeed try 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 again what if I told you that the time that is that you've tried before the the recipe for success wasn't necessarily there it wasn't there to support you not to say that what you did or what you tried wasn't good enough but truthfully the planets weren't supporting this huge uh, breakthrough and ground breaking energy they were more working on breaking down the things that don't serve and that wouldn't be conducive for the long haul and they can only do one thing at a time apparently i mean they could do multiple things at a time but there was multiple of things that needed to be broken down and that's what we were seeing and that's what was happening so for this new moon in aries i really want you guys to intuitively lean big time into the energy of Aries again energy so going out on this new venture that very same concept that very same wish that very same goal that you've been locked into the thing that you've almost been borderline obsessed with sinking your teeth into it and I want you to breathe life into that once again I want you to start to initiate and implement the plan or maybe bring back the old plans that you originally had and start to apply them now if it didn't work then try it now try it now the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that there's so much action when it comes to this Aries new moon. It's possible and I encourage you, it's, it's very possible that you can manifest with this new moon through your action even though you may not see how all of these things are going to fall together or even if you can see the light at the tunnel but you don't know what that light actually is. You don't know what it is that you're looking at. There has been this overarching message lately not only in the astrological charts but in my intuition where spirit the divine the astrological charts are saying start clearing things out start clearing things out clear out the cobwebs dust this energy off and begin to emotionally energetically mentally spiritually physically prepare for what is to come what if at the time of this aries new moon you set intention for this incredible um, journey, this incredible venture, this career, this job, this goal, this thing that is that your heart wants so bad. What if you set the intention for it, but your action, because Aries is all about action and Mars is the ruler of Aries energy, by the way, transiting through Gemini, trine the Saturn, Saturn, which wants to stabilize and give longevity to the dream, which Saturn rules in Pisces. Um, also, Mars is directly squaring this uh, new moon. So the action that we feel inspired to take, it sets things into motion. It sets things moving. It sets. It makes things flow. It forces them to start to, to, to show movement. So what if you put it out there into the universe spiritually, you wrote it down, you prayed about it, you tried again once more, and then your action looked like cleansing, purifying, organizing, mentally having those conversations and preparing for it in the way that Mars and Gemini would encourage you to do. For example, let's say one somebody here that um, Aries rules their MC line, their 10th house. So this new moon is activating their need and desire for their career. They sense, they have been sensing this frustration. I know that I have a purpose, Jess. I know that I have a path and the career and the work that is that I've been doing does not reflect that. The agitation, the irritation that it is that I've been feeling, dealing with my boss and dealing with my coworkers, etc., etc., has been bothering me for years, honey, for years, as an example. And now at this Aries new moon, I cannot stand it anymore. I'm going to set intention that my dream job of being an author, of being a writer, is going to happen. That this is the season in my life because I know that I'm meant to be a writer. So you write that petition, you put it out there to the universe, you set your intention, you you pray about it or whatever it is that you do. And then after that, maybe you take a break, you take a pause because that's very important with magic. Maybe take a nap and then wait the next day. 
the next day after the new moon is setting that seeds and you've watered that intention now the action that you can take is you start clearing out a desk for you to write clearing out a space for you to write clearing out your calendar so that for an hour a day you find yourself making your way over to a coffee shop and you put in your earbuds or you put in your headphones and you focus on writing this bestseller book and a year later you finish that book you put it out there it's published and it's a bestseller I'm just saying, this is what this new moon can bring to you. And again, last thing I'll say, the vertex point is bringing in the element of faded action and faded encounters. The vertex point is falling in the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius says that the very things that is that you're doing here, if you're optimistic, if you are courageous, if you're bold, if you go after it, if you climb that mountain, like you defy the odds and put yourself out there, you will get a reward for it. Something will fall together. And again, it's the very same thing that, is, that has been a dream for you for a long time. You just might not have seen it start to stir to life because so much around you has been crumbling and collapsing, sometimes like sand through your fingertips. The time is different now. It's a new season, it's a new time, it's a new venture. So let's get at it. All right, guys, I know that that was a mouthful, but I'm so excited again about this, this new moon. I'm so excited about this new season. It does feel really promising. I'm curious though, what is your rising sign, specifically your rising sign? What is your rising sign? Please let me know down in the comments. Let's get this conversation going. This will help me and your fellow uh, people around you within the Bahati Vibe Tribe in order uh, to see what everyone else is doing and also see similarities. It also helps me to continue to do my research here as an astrologer because as you guys know, I've dedicated almost my entire life studying astrology and I will continue to do this because I love it. It's also written in my chart to continue to pursue astrology for as long as I'm living and breathing. So your input and your comments down below definitely helps me in my pursuit of astrology, my pursuit of knowledge. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it does make a difference for my YouTube channel. Um, the odds of me being quote unquote successful on YouTube are not the same as everyone. I'll leave it at that. So even though I am successful and even though the YouTube channel does really well, it could be better. And your support and your input and your thumbs up or your engagement really means the world to me and my effort in showing up for you guys. I'm going to go to the apothecary because I have a bunch of bottles that I need to cleanse. For those of you guys that don't know, every new moon or full moon, I usually go to my altar and I offer my magic to the world to help you to manifest your intentions. I've opened up custom oils and custom fixed candles as well as I will be opening up an intention oil for this Aries new moon, this new season. Of course, how could I not? So I'm gonna link that down below and start prepping the bottles, cleansing the bottles, and start unpacking them because I just got a new order of the, the, the whole glass bottles that I'm then gonna fill. So there are two ends about bottles and you can add your own intention and then I add herbs, oils, essential oils, etc. in order to make something really potent. I let it sit for three to four days depending. Wrap it up, put the names on it, and send it out to my clients. So if that's something that is that you're looking for, you can use those oils again to anoint your petitions, anoint your body, anoint your home, protect your home, whatever is your intention. Again, all those things will be linked down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me once again. It's always an honor, it's always a blessing, and of course I'll see you in my next video. Bye.